Hello there, this is Jacqueline Kane, the Stop the Pain Specialist, and hopefully you were able to see my video yesterday on tapping for pain relief, especially for uh, those of you who are living in chronic physical pain, maybe even from fibromyalgia. So today I wanted to continue in that process and just give you three basic tips that you can start today. And yes, they're very simple tips. And also know that most people who are living in chronic physical pain, especially fibromyalgia, autoimmune conditions, that you're living from a lack of energy. You're starting in deprivation. So these tips today are going to help your body to build up and repair. So uh, the very first tip is to drink water. And I know you may be saying, Jack, Water, really? Is that going to help me get out of pain today? And most likely not. It might, but most of us are living in dehydration and most of us are dehydrated. We drink way too much coffee. Um, even our lovely green teas are um, caffeinated sometimes. Some of them are. Um, so we have to be careful of that. So it's important to drink at least half your weight in ounces in water. I know, I know it's a lot of water and you're like, Jack, that's not going to happen. Do you know what I do all day? I can't be in the bathroom all day. I get that. But you have to start somewhere because 75% of people are dehydrated. And we've learned a long time ago that our cells are made of water, which means we need to keep replenishing the water in our bodies. Over time of not drinking enough water, not getting enough in, we cause dehydration. It causes tightness in the muscles. It causes insomnia. It causes cramps. And one simple thing to add into your life today is water, simple H2O. Um, and for example, many of my clients, when I, I read an amazing article that said how important water is and what it causes when we are dehydrated, um, even to the point of causing us to have insomnia, I really started thinking about that. So I started asking my clients how much water they drink, and I was floored by how much um, water people are not drinking. One gentleman said that he would wake up at about 4.30 in the morning and start drinking coffee till about 2.30, and then he started drinking vitamin water for the rest of the day. No water at all, and his muscles and cells are very tight. So that's my first tip for you. The second one is to start doing some journaling. If you've been in pain for a long time, it's going to take time to get out of it. So one suggestion is to, um, hello, I'm not quite sure who's there. Um, I need my glasses. <laughs> so hi, Jessica. Um, so the second thing is to start journaling about your pain and really just start asking the questions. Imagine that your pain is your best friend. And sometimes when we've had it for so long, it does become our best friend. And it is always there. It's always talking to us. So one of my great tips is to start journaling with it, have a conversation with it and write it down so that that conversation is out of your body. And when we get down the sadness and the anger and the frustration that it's still there, it's, it relieves the body so that the mind can settle down and rest. So just start asking questions. Okay, pain, what do you want? What do you want me to know? Why are you here? And if it's angry, just keep writing until there's no more anger left. And sometimes you'll get to a place where you're like, okay, I'm done. I can move on. Um, and my third tip is to start breathing and maybe spend like twi 20 minutes before bed or at some point during the day and just focusing on your breathing so that you can focus on something other than the pain. And I know sometimes when your pain is so bad, it's hard to focus on anything, let alone the pain. But the more you start getting the mind to start thinking of something else, think of one other part of your body that is feeling good, even if it's just your big toe, even if it's the nail of your pinky finger. What part of your body is feeling good? 
And just focus on that as you take a deep breath in and a breath out. So those are my three tips for you. And this is a journey, right? Our pain didn't get her overnight. Maybe it did, but it's definitely not going away overnight. So it's going to be a journey to, to heal that and to become friends with it so that it finally can go away. So I'd love to know what you thought. Leave a comment below. And if you'd like to have a conversation one-on-one, uh, -on -one, just me and you, and help you discover why your pain is still here, um, you can private message me. And I would love to have that conversation with you. Otherwise, leave a comment and let me know what you thought of this video. And have a great day.